in this video we'll look at apis of uh, stable diffusion stability.ai they released api recently so i thought maybe we'll just go over and check how you can use these apis in your own applications if you are having any application to deal with the images uh, and their manipulation so you can go to platform.stability.ai and getting started uh, very easy first you need to uh, create an account you can go to the stream studio.ai and sign up via google uh, or your email id however once you sign up you will get an api key right so you can use that api key to ping the apis okay now uh, let's look at the credits so by default they give you some i think 100 200 credits that you can use to ping their apis after that if you want you need to purchase credits uh, let's look at their rest api okay very simple uh, first api they have uh, a user api engines api and generation right so user api is just to view the account or the balances uh, etc right so <clears throat> you can just copy the url and uh, in postman uh, you can just uh, ping the url and just copy paste and in the authorization uh, you just uh, have to add uh, an api key and key name should be authorization and value is the value of the api key that you have right and yeah that's it just uh, in the authorization add it and then if you send a request uh, in the response you will get the details about your uh, account right next is the balance very similarly url is uh, user slash balance and authorization you need to have the authorization uh, api key values your api keys value and uh, response you get the credits the balance uh, credits you have right engine list uh, engine list gives you all the engines that they have so i think they have kept it uh, dynamic because they keep on ending new engines so here you can get all the different uh, engines that they have right it's a list or a, like an array of all the engines okay now next is the real uh, apis which they have right and a lot of uh, parameters you can select here uh, like the cfg scale guidance height width of the final image what is the sampler uh, number of samples means number of images you want right uh, steps and text prompt so i'll give some text prompt right boy playing in rain uh, by playing football in rain something like that right some random i'm giving here uh, the difference between uh, this and other api this is a post api plus in the body in the as a raw you have to pass these uh, parameters right authorization remains same have to pass the authorization api key and uh, just send it okay if you want to read more about these parameters uh, they have mentioned it so you go to generation and here you can read more about all the parameters like what is cfg scale shows how strictly the diffusion process adheres to the prompt text higher value keep your uh, image closer to your prompt uh, so you can have 0 to 35 right uh, default is 7 right so if you have more like 30 or 20 right, it will create a very uh, similar uh, image to your prompt uh, then uh, there are certain clip guidance and samplers and samples i also don't have full idea what this means but there are a lot of parameters to control the output right and uh, here uh, we get uh, the response right uh, what we got is base 64 image so i'll just copy uh, the response and uh, just paste it here i'll remove the extra sort of text i just i'm just concerned about the image right and this is base 64 right it's just base 64 so just a minute sorry some issue here yeah i'll just remove it and if i copy paste this base 64 here i'll be able to see the image that is uh, this base 64 has right 
take some time I'm just using some uh, online this utility to do it I think it's uh, images converted but uh, not showing up right take some time to load it and then they have image to image where one image you can upload and edit it and then image to upscale right and uh, image to masking this I tried but I was not able to really uh, understand how this works but this one we'll, uh, we'll see a demo in a minute I'm just trying to wait for uh, this one okay got it so this is what it has created uh, okay not uh, too good but yeah whatever we uh, mentioned now let's let's try to see the other example of masking uh, one thing i forgot here uh, in the url you have to add the id of the engine so i'm using uh, the stable diffusion v1 uh, you can try with others as well <coughs> uh, now let's see the upscale one so in the upscale uh, again you have to mention the name of the uh, engine you want to use so i'm using uh, latent upscaler and in the body this also post ticket authorization remains same in the body you will have to use form data and uh, a key like image and select one image <coughs> that you want to upscale right <coughs> so i'll use this and send it right and also width you can mention of the final output yeah so get some uh, data back very similarly it's in base 64 so to display it uh, we'll have to just see the use that tool right uh, you can also use the python sdk they have maybe that is easier to you know you visualize the image right and this tool i think is taking some time right. i'll download this let's see and uh, i'll show you the the base image i had given so this is an image that I want to upscale. Let's see uh, if it's uh, really upscaled or not. We'll just download it. It's taking some time to download. okay it's downloaded great i think yeah uh, I, I see the upscaled image is uh, much more uh, finer you can you can see that as well right so the right hand side is upscale you can see some small uh, this is more clear right you can see the all these uh, hair and uh, the eyes and this part also is much clearer so it's working fine so yeah this is it i think uh, you try this platform very very simple apis uh, and uh, you know try different uh, different parameters and then and see uh, if you can use it in their application also let us know how you like the video and any comments any question please share and subscribe thanks